hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm jennifer Emeka. in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to pedal a sewing machine so if you want to know how i'll do that keep watching and let's jump into did i say jump pardon me jennifer huh Teacher, I've told you, stop eating too much. Pardon me, today I ate too much. The food was just so delicious that I just have to ensure that I ate almost half of the pot. <laughs> you, I know, looking at me, you will know that I don't eat too much. But I eat too much. I eat too much. <sighs> I've told myself, anytime I have video to shoot for the day, eh, I should minimize the amount of food I eat. But mba, I will not hear. Mm? So let's dive. Ah, you see, I don't just know what is happening today. Eh? First, it's Nepa. Nepa. Nepa don't want me to shoot today. Like they don't want me to to bring out this video today. And this video must go live. Mm? I can't use my ring light. I tried fixing my batteries on my ring light. I don't just know today the battery refused to work on its own and I charged it all through the night so that in case Nepa should disappoint me, I will fix it. But see, it's not working. Eh? And the light is busy fluctuating. I even adjust the focus, but still the exposure, but it's still, please pardon my today's video. Hmm? Pardon me. Short. I'll try to fix it, but that's my business. That's my business. Let me know. Boy, you with my business. So today is not all about me. It's also about you. So let's get started. What did I say I want to do today? Oh, I don't know. So that will look. I'll look it because today we are on sewing business <laughs> so subscribe to my channel like comment and share let's get started this is what a sewing machine looks like actually I've used it to sew I just finished sewing not quite long so before I start this tutorial I will be removing the thread from the machine so that I can properly show you how to pedal this is the foot pedal this is the rope holding the hand wheel that, that is controlling is being connected to the hand wheel This is a hand wheel. This is a thread, a black thread. I just finished sewing with it. But I'm going to remove it before I start this tutorial. And also, I'm going to take off the thread that is inside the bobby case. So I'm going to, after removing the black thread, I'll go ahead to remove the thread that is under the sewing machine. Please, I have to put the sewing machine very close to me, but normally it's not supposed to be like that. I did that so that at least you will see, you see my leg, the way it will be. I'll be demonstrating how to pedal with the sewing machine. That was why I shifted it close so that my camera can capture it proper. Please watch my legs and my hands very carefully so that you understand what I'm demonstrating and what I'm saying because it's very important. After placing your legs at the foot wheel, one of your legs will come front while the other one will go back. Reason being that one will be controlling the foot wheel at the front and the other at the back. So as it, it will enable you to control it up, down, up, down, up, down. And secondly, you will take note of the hand wheel. 
you roll it coming your direction that's it will be coming towards you not backward it will be coming clockwise so after rolling it then you use your legs to pedal the machine going up down up down in that manner and direction so you start by controlling it with the hand wheel coming towards your direction that's clockwise then the foot at the back we follow you exercise pressure on that foot so that it will bring the foot uh, pad back while the before lifting it for the second one the second foot to exercise that same pressure so that's how it will be going up down and up down your legs will determine the kind of output that's the pressure you get out of the foot pedal so the more you go faster with it the faster you will be sewing your fabrics and the more slower you go same thing will happen it will be slow so those legs will determine how fast your machine will go and how low it will also go the hand wheel plays a major part when sewing on a sewing machine because it controls the direction in which your foot pedal will start working in that direction so ensure that you always bring it forward not backward it always come towards your direction ensure please take note very important you can put your both legs at equal length on the foot pedal but make sure that you're exercising pressure at both the up and the down of the foot pedal <laughs> immediately you turn the hand wheel towards your direction you exercise pressure on your leg that, that will take the foot pedal backwards then you release your legs a little bit and exercise more of that pressure at the front so that it will go to the front direction likewise the same you that's how you keep doing it Biko watch carefully so that you understand more on what I'm doing those of you that don't know what Biko means Biko means please in Igbo language after turning the hand wheel towards my direction my one of my legs I exercise pressure more on it at the foot pedal because I want it to come backwards then I release my legs my leg sorry my leg a little bit so that i can exercise that same pressure that i did earlier on at the front so that it will come towards the front direction so that's how you keep doing it After using the wheel to start the machine, that's to start sewing. You don't have to place your hand for too long on the wheel. Just once you roll it coming towards your direction, you just remove your hand at that moment. Once you've noticed that it has turned towards your direction, then you control it with your foot pad from that point. I can't believe that at the beginning of this video 
I was holding a paper on my hand. Hey! I can't believe it. So finally, they brought the light up Nepa. I'm excited. You can see how bright my video is looking now. I need to go increase all the brightness, but this one is okay. Thank God for the light. Thank God for all what he has done and what he will do. So, I don't want to leave this video, but I just have to say bye-bye. But I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. See you in my next one. Bye. If I forgot, if I forget, if you are interested in this week and you want me to create it, leave a comment down the comment section and I will do that. And also this hair, I think I to. if you are interested and you want to see how I made it, also leave a comment down the comment section and I'll be happy to do that. So, bye.